I'm I guess I need to talk more trebly now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Searching in the dark. And buried in your bones, there's a naked that you can't ignore. This is the greatest show! Light it up, it won't come down! I love it because this is how I'm going to open Hunter, do you want to do it? Hunter, do you want to do it? Hunter, Hunter, do you want to do it? Rewrite the stars with me? Dude. Guys, welcome back! To another episode of Off the Clock. It is not early in the morning, but it's still morning. And, and it, Grant looks really tired right now. <laughs> and it's honestly kind of funny. And I'm here for it. Thanks. Yeah, anyways. Tired Hunter, or not, this is the soon to be number, number one, one podcast, podcast in the world. Oh, yeah. Anyways, the base on that, that was, was really here. nice. <laughs> Huge fan. Sure thing. Guys, Hunter's here with us today. He sure is, man. Welcome back. Uh, YouTube, this is what Hunter looks like, in case you were ever wondering from yeah, some of our uh, previous episodes. Linguini from Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> but not with red hair. No red hair. <laughs> when, I should just go and dye my hair red. right, Dude, honestly, right now. Should. That would be so freaking funny. <laughs> that will be in the behind the scenes. I have my YouTube. midlife crisis at 18. <laughs> Hey, it's got to happen at some time, you know? That's Hunter true. Is, better it's, la- better er, earlier than never. <laughs> sure. It's good to have you <laughs> here, dude. <laughs> dude. It's good to be here. Uh, I'm Absolutely. glad to have you back on the pod. It's been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. Uh, you're about to go back to college pretty soon, aren't you? Dude, when in a that week. In a week. Bruh. Tennessee Tech. Yeah. So, so, so depressing. Very depressing. We, we will it's bittersweet, for sure. I greatly be. miss you. Dude, and I will greatly yes. miss you all. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to sneak you back onto an off the clock episode again. Dude, let's totally do it. Man. Show. Faux show. Faux show. For show. What, okay. What is happening? I don't know what's happening, guys. I feel like that's the theme. I feel like that's the like reoccurring theme of every episode. It's just Grant's like, what is happening? And we're all like, I don't know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, the actual first episode we did was like, there, there was about five minutes of me just like goofing off before we actually were able to start the episode. Fun fact. And nothing has changed. No. It, it's nothing still the has same changed. Thing. It's still the same Maybe thing. Maybe one day we should just compile all the footage and like <laughs> recordings of all the like dumb stuff we do oh my before goodness. the oh, episode man. actually starts. That would be awful. It's actually an idea. And then just post it so if yeah. you, as if a you, blooper reel you'll if just you never in, get hired anywhere ever again <laughs> <laughs> no. if you turn it if you tune into the youtube you will see a little bit of like that behind the scenes or i guess hear a bit of that audio of us goofing off before the pod so that's go. the intro music we've landed on is that <laughs> dude i'll record you all an intro track someday honestly oh hunter uh, dude let's go i love that oh. Okay, Ian, right. do we have a question? Well, let's our topics today. Well, so I, I literally off, don't know. If you're listening to this episode right now, my new song, Time, will have been out. Shameless plug. Shameless plug for a few days. So if you haven't listened to it yet, go listen to yeah. it. Cause and it's amazing. It, and all of us here in this room worked very hard yes, on it. Yes, and I will so. actually say, I was thinking about this on the way here this morning. Every single guest that we've had on the podcast, except for Greg and Zach, have been involved. And even Zach was like in the room like a bunch while we were recording. Yes. Was, he would just like randomly pop in yeah. and be working on stuff while we were yeah. recording. So like this is very heavily connected to like our team and what we do here. And uh, it's a it's a dream team that worked on this single. Um, it is indeed a dream team. It is. It's a I, dream team. I was putting together like the list of all the people, and then I actually looked at every name on the list and was like, "Holy moly!" They got literally everybody to help on this. Podcast, yep. Uh, uh, on the on the yep. single. I mean, Grant was, did the artwork and graphic design. I did. Ian and I worked on it. Teaming up with Ian. Mm-hmm. Um, Hunter Grant played guitar. I was executive producer, mixer, and did a couple other things. He did a guitar solo, guys. I sure did. I, and to this day, I think there's nothing fire. that Aiden is more proud of than that guitar solo. <laughs> you might be I right. Know. I don't it, know. It was pretty fire. I don't know. The tone was the tone was pretty good, and I, I will say I'm very I'm very happy with the, the mix that I ended up with. I think it's one of the better mixes I've ever done. So yeah. it, it yeah. is a great yeah. mix. I'm it excited to hear mix. the final. Yeah. Dude. Wait, I've oh. sent you the final. Hunter, I, think, I thought you sent me the one the right master. before. Nah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, in it, any case, it will have released 
Oh yeah. So go gosh. stream. Share go it, stream. stream it, comment, yes. all the things. Yep. Mm. Guys, okay, so first question oh, is, man. what is like either the worst job you've ever had or like give me some pros and cons from a job that you've had like any funny like a funny story i don't know something y'all just i know aiden's got some really good stuff in this department should we start with aiden or or should should we end with aiden because his will be the best all right well okay well mine is like kind of really interesting because i worked at a business and i have now sworn off ever going to that business ever again (laughs) Not because of what I, not because of like anything personal that happened, but I can talk about that in a second. Okay, why don't we end with you? Because I okay. think you're like you. <laughs> oh, yeah. We I, we it, knew when we picked this topic that his would be the best. Yeah, Aiden's, <laughs> some Aiden's got some strong feelings on this. Hunter, what about you? <laughs> Dude, I've never worked a day in my life, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have any stories. <laughs> so so we're gonna we're gonna go on to another question for a second and then circle back around to this question. <laughs> We've lost. I, I Aiden don't even entirely. know what to say. Aiden is out funny. of frame. No, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Aiden Aiden brought this up to me. When you turn sixteen, it's like you're automatically kind of ex- well. I wouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people are expected to get jobs or at least yeah. start looking to get jobs. A part-time jobs. job. Right. How do y'all feel about that? Do you think everybody should, like, it should just be a thing that people should have to work during high school? Like, or do you not really care? I don't know. What are what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> okay. I don't care. And if you have any- <laughs> All right. I, I, I have some thoughts. So Go for it. I man. initially was like, I want to get a job when I was like 15, 16. Right. And my dad was like, dude. You do not want to do this. <laughs> like you do not. Like you, you have the rest of your life to work, and so you don't have to get started now if you don't need to. And he was absolutely right. I totally agree with that because, like, the thing is, like, once you have a job, uh, you're probably gonna have a job in some capacity for the rest of your existence. Right. Uh, True. And like, once you have a job, like, you're gonna have to start saying no to things. Like, yes, even though you have money, like, you can go hang out with your friends or go out to eat or buy cool things that you want to buy or save if you're lame. Uh, <laughs> or smart, <laughs> even though I don't say that. Save, you know, save your money, save your money. Okay, um, but like you're gonna have to like there are gonna be times where you have to say no to things, where you can't go to stuff, where you can't participate in things because you got to work. So it's like kind of a trade off. So I would say I got a job when I was 17, at the end of my junior year, um, and it served me pretty well. But like still, I really enjoyed the like several years of freedom that I got where I could have gotten a job, but I didn't get a job yet. So that's a good word, honestly. Yeah. 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 Grant Hunter, y'all have any thoughts on that? I mean, I know Hunter obviously just said he doesn't really care. <laughs> so I guess that's his answer. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that Hunter is like thriving right now. <laughs> I don't understand it. Honestly, <laughs> it's like, I don't even know, man. Um, I don't even know. You go ahead. Dude, graduation money. <laughs> For real though, dude, honestly, I'm telling who you, are your friends? It's lasted That's me my so question. long, <laughs> dude. I need, I need your friends' money, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Ian will start a Patreon just for himself, not for off the clock. Yes. literally just for Make him. Make it so Ian doesn't have to work an actual job and can just record music all the time. That is. Yeah, I- all right, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> that that Patreon uh, page is not sponsored by Off the Clock. Uh, yeah, so I hope you know. I, I don't know if if you have any like things you want to say about getting a job when you're a teenager, then shoot them to the email or the uh, DMs. But like, yeah, I, I would say I don't know. It's kind of a it's kind of a personal thing because you know some high some high school students like pay for their own phones, some pay for their own cars, some don't pay for stuff. Some like get allowance or some like do chores at home. Some do like uh, lawn mowing or landscaping during the summer, like in the neighborhood. So like, it kind of depends like where, where you're at or like how, what you want the money for, what you need the money for. So I, I see no reason why you shouldn't get a summer job unless you just like are vehemently like opposed to it. Yeah. Um, that was a $4 word. <laughs> Because I, I, I don't see how it, I don't see how it couldn't benefit you when you're in yes, high school to have sure. a summer job. Absolutely, yeah. it, it's a it it's a huge thing to have money. You, honestly. Yeah, because a lot a lot of jobs in the summer, anyways, are more flexible. I feel like, and sure. it, yeah, and it's not like you're going to use up all that free time. I know for right. me, whenever I hit summer, I end up like probably about halfway through being like, I kind of wish I had school to fill up a little bit of extra time. Yeah, or if I had a job, you know, and I've I've had a job before and. I do a, like a lot of little jobs that my friends will be like, 
hey, could you come home, help out my dad's company or something like that? And I'll come sure. work and make like 60, 70 bucks. Um, but I full time job, no. And, and le- <laughs> I, I unless I unless you are like very skilled in a trade that you plan to take out of high school and make sure. a career out of it, sure. yeah. then I'm totally for it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. like working fast food is a full time job unless you like really have to. Yeah. I agree. I think I think as a high schooler, it's not really because you still have to enjoy like being yeah. a kid and like you yeah. know final years before you really enter the mm-hmm. quote unquote real world. Uh, now, granted, this is coming from a very like privileged <laughs> standpoint. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. It's like, it, right. Absolutely. Some yeah. people really have to. I think yeah. it's important though to like have a job at least at some point because that's like it teaches you. It does teach you a lot of things. a lot of life lessons to I, like work your schedule that, around it. Like if you start a job too late, you'll never really learn a good work ethic. Like my parents that is, raised me super I well. Disagree with that at all. Um, like they. I mean, they started me in a lawn mowing business, like just me mowing lawns for neighbors when I was 13. And I, I still do that, um, you know, today and I've worked multiple jobs too, but if they hadn't raised me that way, I think I wouldn't want to get a job in college to make like, to keep up with money. I think I'd be a lot lazier. So there's a part of me that even if it's not like go work at a fast food restaurant, I think everybody should work at some point to some extent just to learn a good work ethic because well, some of say, that's experiential i would say yes that is a very fair point but i would also say like i didn't get a job until i was 17 yeah and i think just because of like i mean you guys can speak to my work ethic people that know me you can speak to what my work ethic is like but like i didn't get a job until i was 17 but i just think the way i was raised yeah and, like my family and my friends like i think sure. they instilled a pretty pretty good work yeah work but not everybody me. is like that because you do have a very good work ethic true not everybody is sure like that like yeah. i mowed yards i think when i like my sophomore summer or something like that i was mowing yards uh and then obviously i've worked uh at fellowship and then i'm doing landscaping right now and so i don't know Part of that, too, is like I think it's good because it teaches people not to be afraid doing those jobs you don't necessarily yep. want to do, yeah. not to be afraid of hard mm-hmm. work or getting your hands dirty. And talking to people. Mm-hmm. Talking mm-hmm. to Dealing people. with people. Mm-hmm. Right. Big. It teaches you a lot of life skills. So like if like when I'm a parent at some point, hopefully in years from now, that like I will want my kids to get jobs at some point so they yeah, can learn totally yeah learn those skills i don't know i think it's i think it's important personally sure at least agreed. it has been for me totally man big time yeah. agree. It's cool so do we want to transition Anyways, into talking about original. all of our jobs yes back to that. <laughs> okay um ian we, we're gonna end with aiden yeah what is like the worst job experience you've had or maybe just something like pros and cons of a job you've had just go i i mean pros and cons are obviously like you can't just do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Yeah. Like you got to work. Yep. And that's kind of like a bummer. Like I've Aiden or Hunter, like they called me up one time when I was working they were like, yo, come hang out. And I was like, boys, I can't, I'm working right now. And so it's like just yeah. little things like that. You do have to work your schedule around that. And it's like less flexibility. Um, I will say, I think the worst, <laughs> the worst thing, and this is like really little, but it's so obnoxious. And you might have had this happen to you when you're mowing a yard and somebody has a dog, Ugh. and they don't pick up the poop nope. in their yard. Oh, it's awful, and it gets oh, all no. over it the is, tires it is on awful. your mower, and you have oh. to clean it off. It is horrible. <laughs> it's awful. I can't like the pain, the pain when you the see pain. that giant. <laughs> turd just get squashed by a mower wheel <laughs> and just go everywhere it's horrible oh my it's lord awful, man hey. anyways dude that's okay. like I-, I mowed yards mm. for a summer like i think i was actually working at subway while i was mowing yards for a summer and uh yeah i never had this happen to me thankfully dude be so thankful there's it's awful it's definitely a thing though i completely it, agree mm. and my, my house is probably pretty bad about that because we have a dog uh, and we mine, just mine is too kind of lazy sometimes obnoxious. um uh, that is definitely a major con are, are there That's any a, others that you have off the top of your head not off the top of my head like yeah i don't know that would be like the worst that's just that was obnoxious that's something that happened to me fairly regularly <laughs> mowing yards throughout a neighborhood with a lot of dogs in it um I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's ladies about and gents, it's kinda... please use your pooper scoopers. Yeah, for real. Get a shovel and shovel that stuff up. Like, come on, these people who come in here to mow your yards, they do not want to be cleaning this stuff off their wheels. Like, We're begging you. <laughs> just be considerate. That's all I'm saying. Be considerate. It's fine. Like, if you don't, <laughs> we will hurt you. 
<laughs> no. That's no. No, Hunter we will not, what? Hunter. Hunter what? That's not what I'm saying. Or actually, <laughs> actually, let me say it this way. It's not even like, just give a heads up. Just mm. give like a warning. Hey. Okay, that's fair. And then I'm expecting it. Like, mm-hmm. it's part of the job. That, that's yeah. going to happen. So that's this true. is a better way for me to say that. Yeah. Just give them a heads up. Because like, mm-hmm. when I did have people give me a heads up about it, it's not a big deal because I'm expecting it. I'm watching for it. It's when it's like a surprise and I don't realize it's going to be there. And it just happens. It was. It's very sad. Yeah. yeah. Totally, man. Anyways. Hunter, you have any? Or do you just so genuinely have none? No. I, so I did work a job um, once. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've done a lot of volunteer work, which I guess would count as yeah, working a job. Does. But it, um, the one that I did have is I worked at my father's law firm as a runner, um, which was it was pretty enjoyable. And I don't know. I just drove around, <laughs> delivered stuff, <laughs> picked things up. Um, it was pretty pretty relaxed, pretty chill. Cool. I was busy like eight hours a day, but yeah, it wasn't like so hard. Dope. But it was mentally taxing enough to where I wasn't bored. Okay, so, yeah. that's good. Honestly, yeah, you know, cool. that's kind of the sweet spot for yeah. a job. I feel like that's cool. the, probably the most important thing for me is not getting bored. Because if I yeah. get bored, I get demotivated and it's just spirals. Totally, that's yeah. fair. So quick, Grant. Mm. <laughs> Um, Give us the trials and tribulations. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for me, like the place that I find the most annoyance is when other people just don't do the stuff they're supposed to. Oh my gosh! Like oh, I want to be talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know oh, you are. Man. But I'll, I'll touch on it just a little bit. Um, I've worked with people sometimes, and they just will not do what they're supposed to do, or they're just bad communicators. And even if they do what they're supposed to do, they maybe don't tell you what you're supposed to do or like just things like that. When people don't almost complete their job or do the full thing that they're supposed to do, um, I'm I'm not talking about my brothers because I'm uh, with my brothers and they're usually like yeah we, we've come got, on Luke and Ethan <laughs> no what are y'all doing we've got a great system down like when we get a like when we get an efficiency system down and know what we're doing and get in a rhythm it's so easy like work is easy um it's, but when I'm in a situation where that doesn't happen luckily like I work with Makes Ian and Aiden and like that's not the case at all but I've worked with people at other places and it's just like. I don't know what you're doing with your, like, (laughs) why are you here? So that's, that's the biggest con of jobs for me personally. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that situation too. So I think let's, this is the time to ping pong it to Aiden and to ask him the question of Aiden, what is, what are the cons of your job? All right. Let me tell you right now. Hang on one second. Dude, he's going like full Ian mode right right here. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm, going to do a slow zoom in on Aiden as he talks about this. So you better stare straight at the camera. So, just some some background. Okay, first of all, I enjoyed the time I'd had at this job, okay? Now, the job itself, the job in question is Subway. And if you're not familiar with Subway, um, I do believe that you are not a person. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> because Subways are everywhere. And I'm going to touch on that in just a second. But, uh, yeah, I worked at Subway for eight months. <laughs> and I'm not going to say which Subway. But, like, I, I would kind of... Uh, bounce the same point off of Grant that he made. Like a lot of people, uh, just do not care. What subways are not in Delaware? <laughs> oh my gosh! So they are not everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh! Aiden, please continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do not care, and there's a- also a lot of uh, turnover rate at Subway because you know it's Subway, and. Um, uh, the job paid fine. Like it was, it was uh, enjoyable. It was very easy. I will say that it was very easy. But um, sometimes, like I would find myself having to pick up slack. Uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but just having to do more uh, than maybe I would normally be expected to do, just because of uh, some of my coworkers. And to give you a quick story, I have a lot of stories I could tell about this, but I think it's okay for me to tell this one. Uh, I'm not going to give any personal details. And like I said, I'm not going to say where I, where the subway is, but we had an, we got a new manager. And, uh, one of the things culturally at subway is you're not supposed to be out of anything. So like, you're always supposed to keep the line stocked and you're supposed to have everything there at all times. Right. Uh, and also subways can borrow from other subways. So let's say, uh, one manager doesn't order enough lettuce for a week they can go to another subway and borrow some lettuce and the other subway will say, okay, we have some extra lettuce. 
but uh, do you have any turkey? And the other person says, I have some it's more like turkey. Set loose of so, <laughs> so we trade the ingredients back and forth so we can keep our line stocked, right? Okay. Well, <laughs> let me tell you something right now. I have a feeling there was a mishap with one of these there was, situations. There was oh boy. a dramatic problem. And this was also the last day of my job. <laughs> I had already put in my two weeks notice two weeks ago. And I was about to start working at Fellowship. Okay. Okay. So I come in one day and uh, the meatballs looked really, really, really weird. Okay. <laughs> like really weird. <laughs> okay. And can, can you describe it or not? Nah? Uh, it looked like somebody had taken um, a bunch of meatballs, um, <laughs> put them in a container, and then gotten water with red food coloring in it and poured it in there, and that was the sauce. Oh, that's Ew. what it looked that's like. like runny sauce. It, that's what it looked like. Big I, I'm, I'm going to kind of expedite this because I do have a couple more things I want to say about this job. Uh, okay, so my coworker quickly tells me that my manager, and my manager is actually a super cool person. She was great to work with. Um, but in, I guess in a lapse of judgment or a, or a bout of laziness, um, we were out of marinara sauce for our meatballs. Mm. So she drove to the Dollar Tree and purchased cans of spaghetti sauce from Dollar Tree for $1 oh my and put that spaghetti sauce in all of our meatballs. And it was gross. <laughs> That sounds it so was disgusting. So <laughs> awful. <laughs> like vile. Awful. It was bad. Uh, it's like Burger King foot lettuce. Lettuce. So yeah, that ha- that <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened one time, and that was kind of an, an oh interesting. That was an interesting Memories. occurrence, definitely at the subway. Um, I- I'll also say, um, I have sworn off going to subway ever again. Like I, I will never buy a sandwich at Subway ever again. Why? Let me tell you why right now. <laughs> you asked the right question. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. So Subway is a franchise business. You, a franchisee can come in and pay some money and own their own Subway restaurant and make some money off of a Subway restaurant, right, that they own. And Subway tells them how to do it, and Subway, they set everything up. And, yeah, okay, problem. Okay, first of all, <laughs> um, the, 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 people also a, a lot talk to the fact that there are subways literally everywhere like even subways right across the street from each other this is why let me tell you why uh let's say you go to open a mcdonald's well when you sign that contract with mcdonald's it costs about 1.2 million dollars to open a mcdonald's oh my uh, in Bruh, contrast, that's way more money than i've ever in made in contrast <laughs> in contrast to about 300,000 yeah, working your one job <laughs> In contrast to about 300000 to 500000 to open a subway. And a lot of that is because subways are easier to run. There's no, <laughs> there's no gas. There's no air fryers. Or there's no like... Sure. Um, that yeah. makes sense. But, well, Nothing Hunter, like that. Well, there's Hunter. also twice as many subways in the U.S. as there are McDonald's. What? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yep. Subways, subways. So there's 24,568 subways and 13,793 yeah. McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. And yet they're still not in Delaware. Let me tell you why. <laughs> All right. I'm about to throw some does, major shade. Does Delaware just ban subways? Who knows? All I right. mean, honestly, All probably. Right. Shout out to Delaware. Guys, guys, guys. Sorry, sorry, okay, 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 okay. 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 So um, subways, we know they're cheaper to uh, bring up. They're easier to run. Um, uh, but they, they also do not make nearly as much money as a, uh, as a McDonald's. McDonald's Fair. will net about $2.5 million dollars drive through sleighs um, a year and subways drive will net about maybe like on a high end of like $400,000. So like it's, it's a, a very large contrast there. So the reason that there are so many subways near each other is uh, we'll go back to the McDonald's example. When you sign that McDonald's contract, McDonald's tells you that they will not open another McDonald's in a certain mile radius of your store. So they don't steal any of your customers. And it's like this for every franchise fast food chain except subway (laughs) subway says they reserve the right 
to open another store as close or as far from you as they want. What Dang. a scam. That doesn't even make yeah. sense. No, yeah. So, and this what? is why, this is why um, most other franchises, just like, we'll keep using McDonald's as an example because I've done research on this. Um, there's, there's an annual fee <laughs> that the franchisee pays back to the corporation McDonald's and it's about six to eight percent of profits per year. Okay. Okay. Um, Subway has the same thing, except theirs is about 12 to 15 percent. That's a lot more. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Subway also has a $15,000 store opening fee that all of its franchisees must pay. So Subway just opens as many restaurants over and over and over again. And the corporation never hurts because they have these uh, large sums of royalties from this 12 to 15 percent that I was talking about. And they have these fifteen thousand um, dollar store opening fees just coming in like clockwork because they're opening so many stores. Um, so they re- and then so they don't suffer. But the franchisees suffer because they're stealing each other's business because Subway is opening stores close to them. Uh, yeah, it's it's really not a good situation, and I could go off on a whole. <laughs> so whole therefore, Aiden does not buy sandwiches. Yeah, so I don't. I don't support Subway anymore. Basically. I just don't like. I just don't like what they do. <laughs> also, <laughs> wow, we can really quickly talk to. Uh, I'm not even going to talk to. I'm just going to mention it. Uh, is the tuna real tuna? I would have people. Oh, this was another pet peeve of mine with the job. I would have people come up to me at the line at Subway and go. Are the commercial is is the internet right? Is the tuna actually fake? And I'm like, I'm thinking, <laughs> dude, I don't know. I just work here. Like, I, I, my job is to put the tuna on the here. sandwich, not to like verify it for you. <laughs> what What did you say to them? Uh, did he just say that? No, no, no. Um, I mean, I do believe Customer that. Service, first of all, fine. So, right if you're listening, I do believe the tuna is real tuna because, like, why would you fake tuna? Like, it's tuna. I and don't know. I see why it, did McDonald's well, fake chicken? Well, I mean. These okay, are the questions. That's also mm. false because Dude, Ty- do you McDonald's remember, actually, contracts Tyson Foods to make the chicken and it actually is real chicken. <laughs> okay. Um, no, yeah, but I do believe the tuna is real that's tuna. I, I see it. Think. I see mm. it when it comes in. It's real tuna. Um, but yeah, people would ask me that all the time and I'd be like, um, like, absolutely. I do believe it is real tuna. We see it when it comes in. It's real tuna. Um, but yeah, so Weird. real tuna. And then also there's the whole thing of like, is the bread actually bread? So they oh, ruled in, they I've ruled questioned in, this myself they ruled before. In some, Is it in certain countries like there's so much sugar and sodium in yeah. Subway bread that <laughs> it's absurd that it's, that it's legally not considered a bread. Also, that's amazing. Europe's like bread is such higher quality yeah. than all of America. Yeah, yep. Hunter also never Europe, Europe guys. Funny. So that's yep. it's so from. much better. But yeah, it's so that, that's kind of huh. the the tip of the iceberg. Um, Interesting. Do you guys think the story I told about that manager was okay to share on the podcast? It was probably fine, right? Uh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, great. Hey, if you're that manager, come on the pod. I'm just kidding. No, we don't want <laughs> you on the podcast. Your I'm thought literally. process and why you chose <laughs> yeah. to get dollar that store manager actually, dairy sauce. Why didn't you go to Walmart or Food City or something like that or she, Kroger? She actually was a, a good manager. Uh, yeah. Mm. I enjoyed working oh, no, with there's her. There's no backing out of it. Mad now, respect. But, uh, <laughs> it was just that moment that I was like, wow. Well, so, so I have another question since we're talking about fast food so in depth okay. right now. And Aiden is giving this whole lengthy monologue on Subway. What do y'all think about fast food and fast food culture? Define so, fast culture. food. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Guys, if you have listened to Decaffeinated. This goes back to that. You remember how I was like, fast food, fast drive through coffee is dumb. It right. carries over to fast to food everything. restaurants. I think... That it's stupid. Oh, no, it's I don't. Okay, that's that's not okay. entirely true. You cannot. I I, I don't actually think that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more just playing the character at this point. Um, I think that <laughs> more people Ian over here. more people should sit down at restaurants than they do. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but that's I, the whole purpose of the restaurant. I think food should be more communal than it is nowadays. But I think it is convenient too to go when think, you when you need to grab a quick meal. I think go more through than Chick-fil-A the fast food, through. it's the drive through that has killed it. I think that's what's really done okay. The you, you know what really is awful though is the like the order like the online orders that you know you yeah, take out and, stuff. and then you just walk in pick it up and leave. It's I horrible. hear that no every, human every contact nothing. It's every not, like not great. restaurant worker and it happened because of COVID, which makes sense. Like I feel like it was maybe started a bit before, but it really became popular yeah. during COVID. But I, every like fast food worker I've ever talked to has hated those. So I don't know. That's <laughs> uh, talking about Subway. Oh, every yeah, time that freaking. 
the DoorDash like beeper thing oh would go God. off. Awful. Yeah. Like because you <laughs> see this receipt, it's a thing. this receipt would print out, and it would be like literally, literally this long, and it would have like eight sandwiches on it, oh. and there's already a line of five people in the restaurant that and you have to make this online order. yeah anyways i'm gonna stop ranting i, I no, apologize it's fine man i uh, love it yeah i appreciate food. your fiery passion <laughs> <laughs> i do like sandwiches okay <laughs> me too well yeah. anyway that's my opinions i feel like fast food, someone else take it you can talk about all the health stuff all of us eat fast food mm. from time to time like so more than others like it doesn't like everybody does it Except it Burger is King. Convenient. yes except burger <laughs> King. also crystal is just hardy's disgusting. crystal hardy's, burger that, king yeah I really only eat like Chick Fil A. Yeah, that's, oh. like, that's like that's like the most fast food I, I really eat. And that's kind of my go-to. It's it's, just it's definitely easy. my go-to. I'll do Panda Express when I'm like. I, I enjoy Panda Panda Express. Is good. Is good. Dude, I haven't had Popeyes in forever. Dude, yeah, so but, shout okay, out funny to the story. Popeyes. Popeyes what episode did we failure. debate it's, that? It's on? called uh, Pickles. Pickled. I think that's eight. Eight. Oh, sure, it's eight. Eight or nine. Air high five. Anyways, yeah, I think fast food because we're talking about like coffee is meant to be sat and enjoyed with people. And, like, now fast food has just, like, ruined having meals, which is to sit and enjoy them with people or, like, sit and, like, take a break, rest while you're eating that, like a lunch break. And now people just, like, go swing through the drive-thru, get their fast food, wolf it down really quickly, and then come back and keep working. Yeah. Which, like, again, sometimes is convenient. It's convenient, and yes. The business strategy behind it's brilliant. I mean, but is the convenience I watched the worth founder- the damage it's done to our culture? Well, I don't I, know. I don't think the I can't damage, speak to culture as I a think, whole. I think it is a result of culture, like in general. That's, yeah, that's because, probably true. Because that's the fair. world is so, so fast so paced and it Not goes so world. quickly that, like, we almost America. Like, yeah, there's almost like this, like, well, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna pack my lunch every day? No, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. Like there, like sure. now, yeah. there's like nowadays, there's like this thing of like, well. I, I have five minutes to get something to eat in between like, so is that a, this job and this so job. So then is that a problem? Like, how do y'all feel about that? Like, everything being so fast paced? Like, sure, it keeps life interesting at times, but like, I, I think, think it can be a problem. I think, I, too I think much that's, of a, it. that's almost a greater conversation to have with Zach Hume because I know mm. Zach Hume loves John Mark Comer oh, and would have yes. mad opinions on this. So, guys, tune back in for our episode with Zach, which will hopefully I, I be think our next one. Zach, but to touch on that now, though, I think culture is too fast paced. Yeah. And I, I think it, it's we not, should slow down. Yeah. I think it's fine, but it can definitely get unhealthy and stressful. And like, there's right. a time where we all need to like slow down. Yeah. Let's, agree. let's dive back into this topic yeah. a little. Uh, we'll put a episode. bookmark in that Zach, one. we know you're listening Y'all to this. get ready. We love you. We do love you. Shout out. Come on our podcast already. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I'm going to have so much fun editing this on YouTube. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Okay. So, guys, there is a new song that was dropped oh. recently. Oh. And I, I personally am a huge fan of this song. I think, like, Summer Vibe, it's great. So, I want to play just... A snippet of this song first. Hunter, what? Don't you freaking dare play Call Me Maybe right now. <laughs> Don't you Can we put dare. that in the intro? Yeah. No, it's wait, no, no, no. Not that we're one. Recording. We're oh, going to do the right. Rewrite the Stars. Oh, yeah. Let's or, go. Not Rewrite the Stars. It was the greatest show, man. Okay. We'll, we'll throw Hunter, that one in. Hunter, set your phone down. <laughs> on the couch. Hunter, Drop you it. will you've be been, muted. You've been banned. <laughs> you've been muted. <laughs> you have been Okay, what's the song? What's the song? Okay, here. I'm going to play this for y'all for a second. This will be cut out, Yep. by the way. What's up, party people? This is Aiden from the future coming to you from my studio where I edit the podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm sure Grant would be putting me in some kind of outer space uh, universe over here. But I'm telling you right now that, uh, yeah, I had to, we had to cut this out because we were we don't want to take any risks putting copyrighted music on our podcast. So uh yeah, this is just k- kind of to skip that time, and we will be back with our thoughts of the song. Here we go. Anyways. All right, I have one problem. Yeah. And it's the same problem I have with what is why, it? Why is it uh, a is, is, it, is it Daydreaming by uh, oh. Harry? Uh, Harry. What is that? It's the exact same, like, what, what? Base, basic, like, backing, like, yeah. instrumental. Why is it yeah. in mono? So, what? I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> we were listening to that. It was oh, funny. It was so funny. <laughs> Bro, wait, wait, wait. I'll play it on this one. <laughs> and, and you'll play it on that one. And Aiden, you can pan it no, left or right. No, you just you play it with 
you're, you There's know, the a top stereo. Speaker, oh, you're right, the bottom, you're right, yeah, you're right. Because that's, cool. that's actually, I figured out if you sit yeah, that's with your Charlie phone Booth behind does. your head like this, it sounds like you're just listening to it in stereo. Like you have headphones Wait, on. Wait, but almost. your phone is stereo anyways. Yeah, but it's split between the top and the it bottom. It is, because oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. what Charlie Puth did in his yeah, TikToks. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Fun facts, guys. Okay, that song was Coast by Haley Steinfeld. And Anderson Pack. Featuring Anderson Pack, yeah. yeah. Slay. So I heard that. Not bad. And I feel like that song could like give a strong case and run for like song of the summer, just in terms of vibe level. Like it's up there with like <laughs> as it was. <laughs> when he said vibe level. <laughs> like level of the vibe of the song. Like that is it's, so it's such dead. a vibe. Man. Oh, vibe so level. No, I, I know man, I miss vibe. I don't say it as often anymore, guys. I need to say it more. I'm we're we're going back to summer, vibe it's, mode. It's because the summer's coming to an end. The it's summer true. vibe. It is. You know? I was kind of disappointed that the song wasn't released, though, like earlier in the summer. I <laughs> yeah, I know. It, that's what I was thinking. Because I would say, yeah, that could be the song of the summer. Had it released during, like, right. the, during the summer. <laughs> summer yeah. I don't know. Anyways, I just want to play about, it for you guys and get your thoughts on it. Dude, I love Anderson Pack so dude, much. Yeah, his, I his love his voice. Real. And as a musician, he is he's insane. Dude is so um, go listen to... I don't know if I can officially recommend this, but go listen to An Evening with Silk Sonic because mm. that album is a banger. Mm. And it's really good. Oh, anyway. Oh, yeah. Viewer um, discretion. The song, the song he did for Sean <laughs> Chi, seven, too. Seven, no, seven, not, not that song. <laughs> <laughs> the, the song he did for Sean Chi, too, is really good. So it's, it's I don't know. Great. Go check out his music. Anderson Pack, if you're listening to the podcast right now. <laughs> Why do we always do? This? I don't know. It's kind of my thing at this point. It, it um, is Grant's thing. It it's like I I need to listen to it in full, but I would say solid four stars. Yeah. Also, the uh, corporate team at Subway might be five stars. <laughs> Hit me up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to talk about your calling you out on the podcast, bruh. bruh. What you gonna do? I have one other question for y'all. Yeah, I'll be going to Firehouse, big boys. Oh, <laughs> major shit. You know, I used to, I used to think Firehouse and Subway were like part of the same chain. <laughs> just like That's different awesome. style That's sandwiches. Hysterical. I love it's like, that. It's like, fire, like Subway was just Firehouse, but like without the community involvement. <laughs> it was just Firehouse, but bad. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. I really did think that. What is happening right now? Wow. This is when I was probably oh nine or ten, Lord. but still. Wow. So I've got one other question, and it was like Marvel has just dropped their new. Uh, this is like a complete subject change. Yeah, massive. Saw, well, Haley Steinfeld is in Marvel, so sort of segues. <laughs> what? Yeah, it makes sense, guys. I'm oh, really yeah. good at this. Anyways, top tier. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Their new like wave of the new phases. Yeah, phase oh, five. Yeah. Five, oh, yeah, five, yeah, five, yeah, and yeah. they announced one six yeah. too. Yeah. What what do y'all think about some of the stuff they announced? Dude, are you guys I hyped? Are y'all done? I'm kind of hyped too. I thought, yeah. I thought I was gonna be I like done and tired with Marvel, but then they uh, released that, and I'm kind of like, hey, I'm <laughs> very excited. <laughs> when, when they announced Avengers Secret Wars, I'm like, okay, I know, that's what I'm, I'm like, all right, this, this, this be could right. be good. This could be good. Dude, I'm honestly hyped for Quantum Mania now. Yeah, same. Yeah, that'd be so, okay. That'd wait, be wait, wait. Cool. Here's the theory. Do you think Ant Man's gonna die at the end of Quantum Mania? Dude, let's hope so. <laughs> the more deaths, the better. <laughs> Quote of the day, guys. Hunter just wants to kill off all the superheroes. You've mentioned dying like three, two or three times now. I don't think I have. No, he hasn't. What are you talking about, no, bro? This is my first you, time. What, it, <laughs> it's my first time. But he said, "Oh no, no, no!" He said he was like, "I said we'll hurt, we will you hurt you. Okay, okay, not, okay, okay. We're gonna <laughs> kill you. <laughs> we will." Kill you in cold blood. Okay, it's two no. times. It's two times <laughs> with no. Oh my god. With a gun. No. Anyways, <laughs> the stop. reason I asked about. Wait, 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 wait. I think we should just take a moment and then clap and just replay. Really <laughs> no, no, we're leaving it in, guys. Okay, 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 the okay. reason I asked you about the Marvel thing is because Grant Hunter's and I. Hunter's kidding. We've talked about a lot about Marvel no, being we finished have. and through, and I felt like this. Some of what they announced, I was like, oh, this could be like really redeeming for the franchise. Agreed. And then some of it, I'm like, this mm. could also just absolutely bury it. So them. I think we'll what our biggest problem was that it had no purpose. Like, uh -huh. yes. Phase I, 4 yes. had no purpose. Zero. They have a purpose no now. Vision. They're building towards Secret Wars and the, the, the Kang Dynasty or whatever it's called. I'm right, like, right. That If they have something to build to, and like, because really that's good. what made the MCU good is that it had all these stories, but they all tied together and built to. Thanos, Infinity War and right. Endgame and Thanos and if they do that again like they, they've done they it before pick up steam again. I, right. I don't think it will be as good as the like, Infinity Saga like the it original can't. 
but I think it still could be top yeah. tier. I think I'm ju- I am just very excited to see how they tie in like the movies that we recently had that were just so <laughs> mediocre. You know, I think and they s- won't. <laughs> I think they're just gonna leave. It. I think they'll, just they'll be sit like, there, honestly. Maybe they know. will. Maybe they'll just throw them out. But I really hope that they tie like each yeah. and every part of it in. I'm excited to see how they do the X Men because they've been hinting at it. If you see Miss Marvel, People they hinted at it. People have been saying they don't. Th- they don't think they're gonna do it until after. Secret Wars in the King Dynasty. Give me Ryan Reynolds in the MCU already. Oh wait, I did. They did say they were doing Deadpool three. I think. Yeah, they are. So it, we'll, yeah. see. we'll see. We'll Exciting. see. Exciting. Huh. So hopeful, hopeful horizon here for Marvel. Then that's right. That's where we stand. We'll keep Let's you updated go. on our thoughts on Marvel. We always have them. So yeah, they yeah. never, they never end. Thanks. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have anything else you wanna doing this? We wanna discuss weekly updates. We kind of do those often. Oh, we have, yeah, we have a little bit that. of time. You want to do that? Sure, Let's man. Do that. Aiden. Grant. Oh, no, me? no, Grant. shoot, man. Go for it, man. Me. Sure. Oh, okay. I feel like I never start with these. This is fun. Um, uh, what have I done? All, all my friends are back in school, except for like you guys. My brothers <laughs> are in school. My my old school started early, so now everybody I know is like back in school. I just, Whoa! Just sit at they home. They already started. Yeah, they've already yeah. started. So Isn't I'm just really awful. Crazy. <laughs> and it's not like the time of recording right now. It's August second when we record this, so it's gonna like. It'll be later when we release this, but they started school in July. So they've been in school for a hot minute. Ooh, I so can't even imagine. I, I was so, so, no, so bad. No, there's a reason they're doing trimesters this year. So their whole schedule is like spread out because oh. they have more breaks. Interesting. It makes sense, ah. but they started a lot earlier. So I basically hang out with my dog and I watch Severance a lot. So that's, that's all I do. Yeah. You got to watch Severance, by the way. We'll talk about What's that. What's it on? After. What's it on? Apple TV. Apple TV. Okay. You got to watch it. Anyway, that's oh, yeah. all I've been doing this week. I binged all of Ted Lasso with Let's Elijah. Go. Elijah and Did Benjamin. you like it? Yeah, yeah I loved it. Yeah. We go two all nighters and watched all of it. Oh my gosh. That is insane. So good. I love Aiden, Ted Lasso. Have you seen Ted Lasso? No. It's okay. fun. It's Aiden doesn't fun. watch TV, guys. We I don't watch this. anything. We got to get him to watch Ted Lasso is so good. Ted Lasso, arguably my favorite show ever. So Ooh. It, Ooh. that's I don't a hot know. That is high right praise. There. I love I think Ted it's Lasso good, so I would much. Never that. It is, it is I, I love it so much. But anyway, that's all I've been up to yeah. this week. Aiden, since you were the other one. Sure, man. Uh, what you been up to? Dude, I've honestly, it's been a pretty relaxing week. I I went, wait. Yeah, I went camping a couple week, weeks ago. <laughs> went camping a couple weeks ago, which was fun. Uh, I played a gig l- this past Saturday. Yes, sir. Uh, which was fun. Uh, I've been working on a couple mixing projects. So I've been doing, we had a conference here at Fellowship called Dwell several months ago. And I'm working on compiling all the live recordings into an album. How many more do you have? Uh, I think I have three left. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I've yeah. done. Yeah. I've done three. I finished three, and I have three more. Um, but yeah, that's that's on the docket of things that I'm working on. And then uh, yeah, I've been super freaking excited to get Ian's <laughs> EP finally. Dude, let's finally out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's been a long, long time coming. I was yeah, telling my friends but, in January. I was like, oh, it'll be out in like a, a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, guys, just like two uh, months. I promise. No, then, which is uh, what I said two months seven. ago. Yeah, July rolls around. Uh, <laughs> guys, well, maybe. I don't know. Hunter, August 7th. What about you, man? What's I'm up? getting ready to go back to college, man. Move back in a week. Um, <sighs> so sad. Y'all it's got a house, sweet. didn't you? Yeah, I'm moving to a house. Dude, upgrade. Nice. Dude, the TikTok huge. house. Right? Big, big <laughs> huge. No. Upgrade. huge upgrade. <laughs> yeah, your dorm was not it from what I've oh, heard. No. no, it was oh, not. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they slept in it, both of them, on the floor. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we were all out of concert We something? went to the John Mayer. We did. Oh, yeah. okay, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. that was... I, I think I could have slept better, like... What? Wait. He's wait. like, I could have slept in, better. In a fireplace or something. <laughs> <laughs> fireplace. Really? Fireplace. Really? It was so bad. It was that bad? It was, Dude, it was it? Why it didn't you floor. tell How us? Was it that bad? Actually, no. The, the bad part was Elijah getting up at 7 a.m. <laughs> and playing Blasting. Smash Bros. <laughs> at full volume when all of us are trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Now, uh, view, listeners at home, viewers at home, you probably won't fully understand this question, but it, was it better or worse than the hotel in Atlanta? <laughs> it was. It was worse. <laughs> it, wait, wait, oh was, my gosh! It was worse, but like it was worse, in a different way, right? <laughs> because the hotel in Atlanta, we were just sitting there the whole night, like 
are we gonna die? Is it yeah, gonna fall we, we over? Went to, really? We went to. It was bad. We went to smoking see, cigarettes in the next room. Yeah. <laughs> we went to see the band Camino. Uh, yeah, we all did. But uh, these two guys and myself, uh, we had a hotel room with a few other folks. <laughs> shout out home. Ethan and shout <laughs> out Mr. Crenshaw and Drew and Drew. Oh yeah. freak, dude, Drew. We got to get him on a podcast. I someday. love Drew. We love Drew. Dude, Drew, shout Drew, out Drew. High key shout out right now. Dude. Anyway. Yeah, so yeah, it was one, probably the sketchiest hotel I've ever stepped foot in. It was in. incredible. It My was dad amazing. has stayed in a lot of sketchy places and he's like this is the sketchiest hotel I've ever been in. Like, <laughs> wow. It was it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I think they anyway. were both bad for different reasons but like i didn't mind the dorm that much it was just like i just curled up on the floor with a pillow sleeping bag and we were in good shape man yeah it was fine all right ian what about you uh this week has been getting time ready and like mm. just making sure all of that stuff is set uh doing a little bit of promotion um we need to do more promotion we definitely do need to do more promotion we have five days <laughs> just go ham <laughs> every day you need to post on you need to post on our stories okay i think all right. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So mainly getting ready for time and then uh, just working on like different projects and things uh, at my house. Like I hauled, hauled a bunch of brush with my brother while my parents were out of town and just like doing things around there, working on uh, guitar presets and talking tone stuff with Hunter and trying to grow as a musician. Well, so that's been kind of what my last week has really been focused towards is just like getting things accomplished and like making strides forward in different mm. different areas in life right Let's now. Go. So Yeah. Yeah. Big hype. Still on the Holy Spirit high, big, ladies and gentlemen. Big check hype. out Woo! check out episode fourteen, decaffeinated. <laughs> decaffeinated. It's it's also big it was hype. Great. All right. Anyways, boys. Dude. Love y'all. Mm. It's been dude, awesome. it's, been, it's, it's been a been great episode. Thanks for coming. A pleasure. In. Thanks for having me. Of course, dude. We will always greatly miss you. Dude. Yes, I will greatly miss so you all. Much. It's not the end. Thankfully. It's just the beginning. I oh. never. I plan to never talk to you ever again after today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's been a great episode. <laughs> Hunter, thanks for coming on the pod. We love you. We'll oh, see y'all later. Hunter. Peace, guys. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. If you want to watch our last video or keep up with our latest podcast, click right up here. And if you want to subscribe to Off the Clock YouTube, click right down there. Hit the bell if you want to get any notifications. And we'll see you guys next time.